Hey guys, welcome back to another quick video. In today's video, we are going to look at how to turn this strategy into a forex robot. We are going to use one of our favorite EA Builders FX Dreamer. So this strategy, if you're going to trade with it, maybe it's similar to what you are using. It uses an EMA as well as a MACD, but it's actually not an EMA crossover as you can see here. Let's open this image in a new tab this is what it looks like so basically what this strategy if we go back what it needs is well it says EMA MACD are powerful indicators whatever 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 and traders can gain 50 to 300 pips wow from one signal from this strategy wow okay 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 oh uh, that is true but in any case, so we need the MACD, but we also need the 25 EMA applied to high and 25 EMA applied to low. So these are the two uh, uh, moving averages. That's why they are like that. It's essentially uh, a single EMA, but it has been turned into a band like uh, that. So we'll see uh, how we can turn this into a strategy. So buy signals. First, MACD needs to cross the 00, zero level from lower to upper. That's for a buy. This is for a buy signal. Then we need price above the 25, the two EMAs really. That's what we need. Uh, okay. After a bullish candle, that we buy. Market should brace. Uh, with the with a big bullish candle okay so the opposite of this is actually for a sell so yeah uh, the above example is GBB uh, USD H4 time frame okay so apparently it works on H1 and H4 that's preferable but maybe you can use it on whatever time frame you want to use it or if you tweak the settings then if you get under and if you get 100 pips plus pips profit then you can hold this trade for further profit as you can see in the above profit of uh, 300 pips wow awesome stop loss 40 to 60 pips okay okay nice nice let's see if we can turn this uh into a forex robot uh, really nice so okay so let's come back to fx streamer this is a previous robot that we did in a previous video if you haven't looked at it check it out at the previous uh, robot so if you have uh, some junk already on your ea builder just highlight everything and right click and delete fx streamer is for free for metatrader 4 and if you're going to be using less than 11 10 blocks uh, here so yeah uh, let's start with that so what i like to do usually is what to check that the robot has no running trades already but you can uh, ignore this so you just uh, right click there and delete and you can tie start on time filters so we are going to say once per bar once per bar we want the robot to be checking for this condition every bar we want this con the robot to be checking for these conditions if they are exist we want it to buy so the first thing is we want the first thing is we want macd macd i think it's standard macd settings to cross the zero zero line and we're going to uh, link this like this we're going to put the buys here and the sales here and we're going to double click and go in there i'm moving too fast if i'm moving too fast uh, uh please rewind the video so that you can watch it again uh if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing so that you don't miss any of our future videos go ahead and like the video uh leave your comments in the comment section below uh, for everything else see the links in the description box below everything that we do on this channel is for free so yeah that's what we are about the broker that i use many people also ask me uh see the link in the description box below one of the best brokers out there and i've been with them for more than five years now and i've not had any uh, problems regarding deposits and withdrawals and one of their best offers is that with just five dollars you can open a real life trading account which we can use to test these uh, robots and see if they can turn that five dollars into something if it 
if it manages to flip that five dollars into ten dollars twenty dollars then you have stumbled on gold uh, you've got something on your hands so yeah go ahead and sum up with them the link is in the description box below so now uh, the first condition is we want a MACD that's a MACD and that's the default uh, settings here you can go to more settings and you can decide on the time frame that you want this thing to work on for example they said one hour time frame that's what they said here one hour time frame or four hour time frame so that's where you actually set the time frame but i usually prefer to just keep it at current so that on whatever time frame that i put this thing on it continues to work so here i'm just going to use not above what i need is we want this to happen at the moment of crossover at the moment of crossover that's what we want so we are not going to just say above we're going to say at the moment of crossover because we're only looking for the cream of the trades and we're going to say value we are going to make it zero so the moment it crosses the zero line going above that's what we want to do and we update then what else we need a uh, price to cross these two lines so let's go back here and i'm going to choose a condition and i'm going to link it like that and i'm going to double click so one one thing that we know about uh, candles is also that uh, for example you can choose a candle uh, that like that so candles have got these values these values candles have got these values let me go back here so we know a bullish candles opens at the bottom and closes at the top and we know a bearish candle opens at the top and closes at the bottom that's actually good enough knowledge it tells you uh whether uh, what you're looking at is a bullish candle or a bearish candle so we can actually use that information so we just want the candle to actually close above our moving average so what we're saying is we want our uh, candle uh, candle one that is the candle that is closed the candle that is closed if you're wondering about candle ids just click here where the question mark is so you know uh, the zero candle is the current candle that is still jumping up and down jumping up and down and the candle one is the previous candle and candle two is previous previous candle and it goes on goes on like that so we're going to use a uh, candle one the recently closed uh, candle again here you can set uh, your time frames for the uh, candles decide on what works for you then we want it to be above or you can say you want it to cross over a uh, moving average uh what's the moving average that we have uh, there moving average at 25 let's just go there like that and it's going to be applied to here you can choose the high or the low high or the low for the moving average as they stated here so the first one we're going to apply to high so the first one we are going to apply to high price and you can decide on method for the moving average exponential smooth weight uh, simple decide on what you want to do i'm just going to keep it at a simple shift i'm going to keep it at zero and we're going to update because i'm a lazy person i'm just going to right click this copy and i'm going to paste and i'm going to just link it like that again and i'm going to double click and i'm going to go in here and i'm going to just change uh, this and that's all that i need and i'm going to update then after this has happened i'm going to ask the robot to buy double click and go in there and change the lot size there just highlight uh, just tick these boxes so that you don't always have to come to fx streamer to change your settings you can change your settings in uh, metatrader 4 so yeah 
then because i'm a lazy person i'm just going to highlight this right click copy right click paste and i'm going to link it like that now i'm setting the conditions for a cell and i'm going to double click and i'm going to change this to that so now it's the moment of the crossover from the top this on the back d this uh, will be the cell and i'm just going to update like that and i'm going to double click and again i'm going to look for that or you can say uh, you can use is below it's up to you but i'm just going to use uh, this and you can see what works for you and i'm going to let me go back let me go back uh, of course uh, candle close needs to be below candle close needs to be below the moving average so i'm going to update and double click again uh, and just do that and update then i'm going to sell now and i'm going to link it like that we are now on nine blocks double click in there and you can change everything that you want to change and I like so change whatever you want to change it to then after that you can come back here and what do you call it what do we call this robot uh, Mark D candle EA very creative name and done and then you can go ahead and download your MQ4 MQ and the executable file uh, I have a video already on the channel about using MQ4 and MQ5 uh, files with your MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 so I'm not, we're not going to waste time and get into that so these are the basics that you need to turn this into your own what into your own forex trading robot guys i'll see you in the next one bye